Stories from present and former employees of intelligence agencies often attract significant public interest. Because these stories can undermine intelligence operations, it's not surprising that organizations like the Central Intelligence Agency impose restrictions on their employees. In SNEP v. United States, we explore the constitutionality of these restrictions and the remedies available for their violation. As a condition of employment at the Central Intelligence Agency, Frank Snepp signed an agreement stating that he wouldn't disclose classified information or publish any information related to the agency during or after employment without the agency's approval. After leaving the agency, however, Snepp published a book discussing agency activities without submitting it for approval. The federal government sued Snepp for breach of contract and breach of fiduciary relationship. It sought a declaration that Snepp breached the contract an injunction requiring SNEP to obtain prior approval for any future publications, and the imposition of a constructive trust on the book's profits payable to the government. A constructive trust is an equitable remedy that forces a wrongdoer to surrender unjust gains to an injured party. The government's claims were based only on SNEP's failure to seek prior approval. It didn't claim that SNEP's book contained classified information or wouldn't have been approved if submitted for review. The district court held for the government and granted all requested relief. SNEP appealed to the Fourth Circuit. The Fourth Circuit agreed that SNEP breached the contract and upheld the injunction, but reversed the district court's decision regarding the constructive trust, finding that its imposition violated SNEP's First Amendment right to publish unclassified information. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.